last thing we need to talk about is fluid work. And fluid work is it's a, just like uh, the other types of work. It's a force or force-like quantity times some kind of displacement. In the case of fluid work, what displaces fluids is pressure difference. And the thing you're moving is volume. So if you have a higher pressure, uh, it's going to drive a volume in the direction of lower pressure. Like that. So let's try this out. The equation works out to be work, fluid work, is equal to pressure difference, pressure difference, change in pressure that drives it. It's going to cause volume to flow, a volume of fluid, which could be a gas or a liquid, to flow from higher pressure to lower pressure. If I apply a pressure here, for example, I don't know if it's full enough, but I can raise it a certain height, the fluid. So the units are going to be pounds per square foot times feet cubed. It gives you foot pounds, which is energy. Could be newtons per meter squared times meters cubed, give you newton meters, which would be joules. So let's try an example. Let's take a let's take a lake reservoir, and we'll uh, we'll pump that flow up. To a storage tank. Let's say the storage tank is uh, is tw uh, uh, 75 feet. Nice high storage tank. And I know the weight density of water. Well, we'll get to that. It's H2O. And I want to know, let's see, I got a height of 75 feet. I got a pressure difference. Let's see, well, I don't know the pressure difference. I'll have to calculate it. I know the weight density of water is uh, 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. That's just something you can look up. My question is, how much work does it take to get water up to there? If I want to move a volume of, say, a uh, thousand cubic feet. So I'm going to move a thousand cubic feet up, height of 75 feet, and it's water. Let's calculate the work. Let's do it in sections, just so it's easier. We'll calculate the pressure difference first. In English units, we use weight density instead of uh, mass density, and so the equation will be this. The pressure difference is equal to the weight density of water times the height I raise it through. Oops. And that's going to be 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. That's the weight density of water. Times the height of 75 feet. That's going to equal, oh, let's see, 6,200. It's going to be about 4,500. Let's see, 62.4, 4,680. The 
let's check our units. We've got pounds per cubic foot times feet. It's going to give me pounds per square foot, which is a good thing. I mean, those are units of pressure. Now the work. is equal to the pressure difference times the volume displaced. In every system of units, work is a force or force-like quantity times a displacement or a displacement-like quantity. In this case, it's pressure difference is a force-like quantity, volume is a displacement. And I've got 4,680 pounds per cubic foot times the displacement of 1,000 cubic feet. Now, oh, let's see, I'm sorry, pounds per square foot. My bad. So I've got 4,680 pounds per square foot times 1,000 cubic feet. Well, square feet on the bottom, cubic feet on the top. I'm going to cancel these on the bottom, and I'll have one foot left on top. And that'll give me pounds times feet. I'll have foot pounds. That's energy. Woohoo! So that'll give me 4,680,000 foot pounds. I'm going to write that in scientific notation because it's kind of long. So I'm going to write that as equal to 4.68 times 10 to the 6 foot pounds. Now, it's the same thing in metric. The only difference is, if you're doing the calculation of metric, the pressure difference, generally you have mass density instead of weight density. So you take mass density times gravity. Still, you multiply it by height. And then you just multiply it by the volume. 